What's up friends, subscribers and general passers-by to the channel. Today we're going to do another Dark Souls experiment. We're going to look at faith and in particular maximizing our damage output to give us the best bang for our buck with the miracles. Crown of the Dark Sun. This crown of the gods demands faith immeasurable of its wearer but it is imbued with dark moon power that enhances all magic. So you might have looked up online or googled the answer to what's the best faith build and you'll probably find answers like Crown of the Dark Sun is pretty much the go-to hat for faith builds, right? But if your brain works anything like mine, then that's not really good enough. You don't really want to say, okay, that's the hat you use and then just go ahead and use it without really actually knowing the exact figures, the exact stats, and find out exactly if it is the best and why it is the best. So that's what we're all about today. I personally think that the Crown of Dusk might actually be better, but I'm not sure, so we're going to have to test it. Most faith builds will be going for exactly 50 faith, so that they can use Sunlight Spear, so that's exactly what we're using today. 50 faith, we're going to use Great Lightning Spear, and we're going to use the Dark Moon Talisman. So to start off, to get our first result, before we even start the experiment, let's get the baseline damage. So no rings and no crowns for this particular run. Okay, 490 damage. 490 again. 490 again. So we can safely conclude that our base damage is 490 with 50 faith, no rings, no crowns. Okay, experiment one. Crown of the Dark Sun, but no rings. Let's see how it goes. Five five four. Five five four again. Five five four again. So we got an extra sixty four points of damage out of that. The result was five five four. But can we do better? Okay, experiment two. This time we'll use the Crown of Dusk, but no rings either. Six eighteen again. And six eighteen again. So that gave us six eighteen, which is a hundred and twenty extra hit points. So that's actually double the amount of the extra damage versus the crown of the dark sun so it's already looking like it's a bit of a myth so next we want to find out about stacking with rings okay so now we're putting ring of the sun's firstborn on that boosts miracles and we're going back to the crown of the dark sun for experiment three now probably You'll be thinking like I'm thinking that Crown of Dusk plus Ring of the Sun's Firstborn will be the best. But that's just a prediction. We don't know definitely and for our purposes we want to know exactly. Six nine eight. And six nine eight. So from the base damage, which was 490, to then wearing the Crown of the Dark Sun and the Ring of the Sun's Firstborn, that gives 698 damage, so that's an extra 208 points. Also, you will remember that the Crown of the Dark Sun on its own gave us 554, but now it's added an extra 144 just by adding that ring to give us the 698. Okay, experiment four. Let's see what the Crown of Dusk and the Ring of the Sun's Firstborn can actually do. Six 
780, wow. 780 again. Yeah, so it's not a fluke, 780. So we are going to do a few more experiments just to try and maximize the damage output even further for boss fights and that sort of a thing. But in the meantime, let's just take a second to actually analyze what we've just learned. So obviously the Crown of Dusk was the clear winner. The Crown of the Dark Sun plus the ring gave us 698. The Crown of Dusk with the ring gave us 780, which is a difference of 82. So you get an extra 82 points of damage. But what's also interesting is the fact that when we used the Crown of the Dark Sun and then added the ring, it only gave us 144 extra damage. Whereas when we added the ring to the Crown of Dusk, it actually gave us 162 extra damage. So the thing with the Crown of Dusk is, its wearer is blessed by all manner of magic. This raises the power and effect of the wearer's magic, but damage suffered by magic attacks also rises. So obviously the clear winner for PvE would be the Crown of Dusk plus the Ring of the Sun's Firstborn right but for pvp if you're going up against a mage for example then obviously that you'll feel the damage more if they're using mirror if they're using sorcery right so is it worth it for an extra 82 points of damage against a mage probably not i would have to actually do some experiments to find out the exact amount of damage that you would receive Okay, so Ring of the Sun's Princess boosts Miracle Synergy. But what does Synergy mean? Well, Synergy means the interaction or cooperation of two or more organizations, substances or other agents to produce a combined effect greater than the sum of their separate effects. Which basically, I think, means it will slightly boost the miracles. That's what I'm taking it to mean. So let's find out. We're basically done with the Crown of the Dark Sun. We're just going to use the Crown of Dusk for the next set of experiments. Okay, so experiment number five, Crown of Dusk plus Ring of the Sun Princess. I'm still going to use the same talisman I've been using and still using Great Lightning Spear. 618 so that ring does not help it's just the same as actually just using the crown of dusk on its own all right folks experiment number six this should be a good one power within plus the ring of the sun's firstborn plus the crown of dusk this should be cool Wow, 1092. And again, that's incredible. That was pretty impressive, folks. That was an extra 312 damage. So, I can't actually resist trying that again, but using Sunlight Spear this time. Whoa, 1,420. And again. Okay, so this next one, our final experiment, it's not really that practical, but if you did want to experiment with being a glass cannon, let's see what you would actually get. So unfortunately, I do have to take off my Ring of Favor and Protection. It's an absolute bummer. But anyway, we have the Ring of the Sun's Firstborn, Red Tearstone Ring, Crown of Dusk, Great Lightning Spear, and obviously the Dark Moon Talisman. Wow, 
1,284. That's not bad. What would it be as a sunlight spear? I can't resist. Well, I hope you learned something new today about the game, folks. I certainly did. If you found this interesting, then go ahead and leave me a comment if you want to. Up the top of the screen, there's another video that I think you might find interesting. If not, the video on the bottom, that's going back to the Undead Asylum. Very early game with only a plus five sword. So that's quite an entertaining watch. Until next time, friends. Ciao for now.